What up, G Life? It's your boy, MC Shadow, back at you with another video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Check out the playlist. The playlist where I have all my videos, and don't forget to make the video you're looking for a lot easier. You know what I mean? Um, don't forget to click on the subscribe, the like. It's free. It don't cost anything. You'll be helping my channel out a lot. Get into the algorithm. I will highly appreciate it. Now, oh, and don't forget to check out my second channel, uh, Madness Society. You know, where I talk about stuff outside, you know, the streets, you know, politics, religion, you know, etc. What I wanted to talk about today was actually, um, Breaking down some misconceptions about the gangster life uh, that I hear um, that's mentioned a lot. Now, when I break down these videos, never am I doing it uh, to make something uh, look good, to justify, to, um, you know, not, for none of those reasons is ever done. If people want to fix the problem, they must understand the problem for what it really is. You know what I mean? You can't fix the problem if you don't understand the problem. You know what I mean? If you really don't understand how the problem works or is, you're never going to be able to fix the problem. Um, and I think nine, nine times out of ten, a lot of things that happens with ex-gang members or people that left that life behind, you know, or, or people that have fell off or whatever, is that they've been removed from the life for so long that they almost forgot of how it really goes. You know what I mean? But... Since I still hang around with the, well, since I never debriefed and I still hang around with the youngsters and stuff like that, like I understand how, how they're mental and how it goes and everything like that, and me, you know, going through it myself. Um, you know, because off the bat, if somebody left that light behind or is the next game member or whatever, the youngster is already going to shut down completely everything he says. Everything he says is, is going to be irrelevant, it's not going to matter, he's not going to listen. He's not going to listen. I know. You know what I mean? I remember what it was like. I wouldn't listen. Like, oh, these fools are coppers. They're supposed to say that. Like, I remember what it was. You know what I mean? Uh, like, ah, that fool's a bitch. That fool's no good. You know, as a youngster, that's the mentality you have. So, what they're telling you, even though it's real shit and, and it's advice, you as a little homie, you ain't listening to it because for the fact that he left that light behind. You know what I mean? Um, and that's just 100 on that side. You know, that's, you know, that's, that's the honest truth. And not to make them look bad or nothing like that. I could only call it for what it is. You know, that's the mentality that these youngsters have when they see these individuals. Um, they don't hear them when they speak. Um, another thing is that they talk about stuff when these youngsters are not seeing that. Like, what they're saying is the opposite of what these people are seeing. So, they make it see... So, in their eyes, they look like liars as well. Um, you get what I mean? Um, when they're doing it for a righteous cause. But I have always said this. It's never good to lie. Or wolf, you know what I mean? Because these individuals are going to see the opposite of that and then they're not going to buy into what you're saying. You know, you got to tell the truth even if you may not like the truth. You know what I mean? It's done for, like, for, you know, a good purpose. Like, example, um, one of the misconceptions that I hear often, you know, said a lot is that it's stupid that these grown men make these little kids do their shit for them. Me. None of my homies ever told me to do anything. None of my homies ever forced me to do anything. We know the get down. We were out there. We were doing it. Nobody was telling us to do what we had to do. We were doing what we had to do. But nobody was telling us, you guys have to do this or you better do that. Nah. No, the homies weren't telling us what we had to do. We already knew what was a get down. You get what I mean? Everything that we did is because we wanted to do it and because, you know, we were out there to look to make our stripes, put in our work, earn our earn our stripes. But not because these individuals were telling us, you know, no big homie was telling us anything. You know, they were giving us, like, putting us up on game, but they weren't telling us, you know, that we had to do this, this, and that. No. You know what I mean? So these older homies weren't telling us that what we had to do. So when people say these older guys are making these kids do this, this, and that, no. Uh, and, and I know what I'm talking about. These older homies ain't telling us what we have to do. You know what I mean? Um, and then another thing is that these older guys are recruiting these youngsters. Older homies are not recruiting youngsters. Older homies don't got time for that. Older homies don't see it like that. Older homies see it. And if that motherfucker wants to be from the neighborhood, then he'll come and get in. I, but I'm not going to go over there and be begging that motherfucker. And that's how these fools see it. The older homies. That's how they see it. They don't got time to go and be begging people to get into the hood and shit like that. You get what I mean? They're not knocking on people's doors and be like, uh, hey, uh, hey, youngster, listen here. Uh, would you like to get into the hood? We have a bonus package right now uh, where we offer free uh, marijuana, uh, a 9 millimeter. Uh, you know, does, does it, you know, pique your interest? They ain't doing all that, bro. 
They ain't doing all that. You know what I mean? You know, the ones that recruit these other youngsters is the younger homies. The younger homies are recruiting their friends or or, or, or they have that pack into the ellos. You know what I mean? Um, the youngsters are, 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 are the ones that bring their homies around and stuff like that. It's not older homies that are polluted. These youngsters... You know, roll as a pack, as a unit. You know what I mean. Um, so older homies are not out there trying to fucking convince kids and brainwash kids and shit like that. They're not doing that. <laughs> you know, older homies are not knocking in people's door. These fools, you know, wander over here, you know, willingly, and then they kick it with these youngsters, and then these youngsters, you know, do what they do. And a majority of the time, older homies don't even know what 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 was what's happening until it's time to jump that fool in or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Um, like it's the youngsters that amongst themselves. So. It's other. It's odd. It's these kids that are running the machine. You know what I mean. The older homies is just there to guide. Like you have groups and gangs. Like in gangs, how it works is that not all the gang hangs out together. You know what I mean. You have pockets. You know. You have some homies that kick it over here. Some homies that kick it over there. You have groups of, of homies. You know what I mean. So they're different groups. So you have all the youngsters together. Then you have all the older guys together. And then you have like the guys in their twenties together. You know what I mean. That is how it happens, you know. Um, and yes, the crowds do mingle amongst each other from here. But nine times out of ten, you're rolling with your dogs, with your crimeys, with your partners. And nine times out of ten, they're around your age. You know what I mean? That's why when you see these fools getting caught up or arrested, or whatever, you don't see uh, a thirty-five-year-old or a forty-year-old and then two fifteen-year-olds. Nah, when when it happens, like you see. Uh, three 15 year olds or three 18 years old or 18 uh, one is 18 one is 19 and then two are 15 or some shit like that but they're roughly around the same age um you know what i mean um <laughs> that's how it works like it's not like you have like these old ass fools uh driving these youngsters to go do all this and that no that's not how it works that's what i mean people don't understand how the gangster life works so they get this misconception that they think it's like this and like that or that these older guys are this and like driving them around to do this like that's not how it works bro you know nine times out of ten you're rolling with people that are your age so if you're 15 years old you the fools you're rolling with are are are, are 15 years old too and your big homie is about 19 years old that's your big homie that's schooling you or 18 years old you know what i mean which is still a fucking youngster himself you know what i mean but to you he's considered the big homie in your eyes and your you know how you see it he, he could only be like maybe like two years older than you and he's already considered the big homie that's how it works in gangs you know um you know he could only be like two years older but that's already considered your big homie so when people are talking about their big homies that's what they mean so they don't mean these oh you know what i mean um that's what I'm saying. People are not really going to understand the gangster life unless they're really a part of it and, and knows how it works. So when people are always trying to voice their opinions like, oh, it's these older guys or these guys are doing this, like, like you don't know what you're talking about. And that's the reason why the problems don't get fixed because people are saying this, this, and that. When, when, and these youngsters are hearing it and these youngsters already know how, how the game rolls and they already know these motherfuckers don't know what the fuck they're talking about and like that's a lie that's a lie right there too that's a lie right there and that's why they don't buy into what these people are saying because they just look like liars to these youngsters that's why i come and i tell them hey my boy listen up hey homie side scared it, it really is like that you ain't gonna get shit you ain't gonna you know what the what the i tell them straight up what it is you gonna get busted no homie's gonna write to you we let them know exactly what it is from the gates you don't get locked up, homie. Ain't nobody gonna write to you. You ain't gonna get shit, no hina, no feria. You probably gonna get jumped. You, you probably gonna get killed. You know, what do we lay it down? Do you still wanna be from the neighborhood? Yes. Okay, well, I, t I told you, man, you're gonna fuck up your life. You ain't gonna do it, but all right. If you wanna, wanna still wanna fuck up your life, well, go ahead. You know what I mean? I, I tried my best. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, these, these youngsters, the only person that could really convince them, you know, not to get into a gang, the only person. Not cops, not your priests, not the OGs. The only one that could truly convince them is their parents. But the parents, see, the parents don't know how to express themselves to these individuals. So, so they come in aggressively, name calling. Some even try to whoop their asses. And that's not the best way to talk to somebody. That's not the best way to convince somebody that you care for them, that you love them by expressing the complete opposite. Aggression, uh, you know, um, mistreatment, abuse. You know what I mean? When you care and love somebody, you don't come at them like that. You know what I mean? And these individuals know that. They watch it enough on TV and movies and shit to know what love and when you care about somebody, what it really is. It's not by talking shit to them. 
It's not by whooping their asses. It's not by none of that. And that's the way that these parents always come come to them when, when you know, these youngsters. Like, the reason why these youngsters choose to go to the streets is because they feel like they have no bonding connection with you, right? So they feel like you don't care about them, pretty much, point blank, because you don't pay attention to them. Whether it's because you're always working, and when you get home, you just go to bed or watch TV or whatever, but you, 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 you don't acknowledge your kid. You know what I mean? Um, and, you know, especially when puberty hits, when these individuals start getting into gangs, your brain starts wanting. So you start thinking, like, maybe they don't like me. Maybe I'm a burden. Maybe it's this, this, and that. And especially if you're being bullied, like, somewhere else, like in school or anything like that, you start believing what these people are telling you is true. You know what I mean? Um, because your parents are not there to... to to, to confirm that, that, that now that they're wrong, that you know, and this, this, and that, because they don't ever show you that kind of attention or love and shit like that, that they see on the TV shows that they watch or the movies that they watch. You know how the parents are always, you know, loving and affection to their children in these movies and TV shows and shit like that. So these kids are wondering how come they don't get the same. You know what I mean? How come they get called stupid, fucking idiot, you can't do shit right, uh, you're dumb, uh, you're useless, um, like what the hell's wrong what the f is wrong with you um you know shit like that um when these people are like damn man it's not how you're supposed to talk to your kid because you see it on tv shows and movies and shit like that you know what i mean so these kids are wondering like man these, you know they probably you know don't like me or whatever you get what i'm saying uh so when you come at them like it and then they find out you know now you find a, a group of friends that you feel like understand you know what you're going through and, and, and now you feel like you Somebody that finally understands you and embraces you and, and, and you digging it and now your parents coming and telling you fucking idiot and like now taking away the one thing that now trying to take away the one thing that makes you feel like you actually important. So then you resent that you get what I'm saying. Um, that's the emotions that is going on. That's the mental the brain thought and, and everything that goes on uh, in these youngsters mentalities um, when, when it comes to these situations. Um, that's what I'm saying. You're supposed to pay attention to your kid. Like, how did you not know your kid was in the path going towards to becoming a gang member? Like, how did you not see his, the change in his demeanor and his behavior um, and, 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 and what was happening with him? How did you not notice until he's finally getting arrested or, in, or when he fucking finally joins the gang? Like, now it's an issue. Now it's important. Now you're recognizing it. Now you're realizing it. A little bit too late for that. No, what the hell were you doing, you know, you know prior to this? How did you not know this? How did you not know the fucking changing your kid? Come on now, bro. Yeah, it's not like they're going to tell their parent, right? True, they're not. But you're able to see the change in your kid. You're able to see him, you know, because it's a complete, you know, switch of behaviors. You're able to, there's warning signs. There's a lot of them. Now, you're probably wondering, how come these kids don't go and just tell their parents, you know, how they feel or whatever? That's the thing. Kids don't know how to express themselves. Common sense is not as easy to a child. Remember that. We're talking about 12, 13 years old, 14 years old, 15 years old. They overreact. They think they know everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at how teenagers behave. You think they're really going to, you know? And at the same time, why do I have to tell my parent this? Why doesn't my parent automatically know this? Like, what good is me telling them? Then, um, if they do display those behaviors, it's not because they wanted to. Now I feel like they're just doing it because I told them. You know, like they're supposed to, they're the, they're the parent, they're supposed to know, they're supposed to just realize it themselves. Like, why do I got to tell them? You know, so then if I tell them, it's like, do they really care or they're just doing it because I fucking told them? You know what I'm saying? That's why people don't confront these people with their problems. Because they want them to just realize the problems themselves because that's the only way, like, they'll fully, they feel like they'll fully understand what's going on. But if I got to tell you, then, then it's not going to work, bro, because it's like, how is it that you still fucking don't know what's happening? How is it that you still fucking don't know what, 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 how I'm feeling or what's going on? How is it that you don't realize this shit? So then that angers them even more, you know what I mean? That's why people don't like talking about these problems that they have because it makes them matter and matter and matter and matter, you know what I mean? They're, the rage just overflows. That's why they just rather keep it suppressed, you know what I mean? And just uh, pay it no mind or just ignore it, you know what I mean? That's what these gang members do. They just bottle them up inside and they just ignore them. And then now when they get older and, and common sense now, you know, the, the part of the brain develops already when you know right from wrong, you know what I mean? Because that does exist. That's why the drinking age is 21 and, and et cetera. Um, you know, because then that you're, they, they know that now you're able to fully comprehend, you know, scenarios and stuff like that. So when you start developing that part of the brain and now you start realizing, man, I put my head through all of this. 
I put my family through all of this. Like, man, you know, now you're blaming yourself because now you see the common sense. But keep it in mind, you were a child before. You were a child when all of this was happening. You were a kid. How you? How do you expect the kid to know all of this? How do you expect the kid to see all of this? He's a kid. It's the parent's job to, to guide them, provide these morals, and, and, and guide them and teach them all of this. You know what I mean? But if they're not teaching it, how's the kid supposed to know? You know what I mean? Because he doesn't have that part of the brain developed already. Well, common sense doesn't work. What teenager do you know has... Like rational or, 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 or will you actually let him decide something as big If that's the case Then people will just let a 15 year old go out and live on his own Right He's got it in the bag He's able to handle himself no? But you already know as well as I know That nobody will let their 15 year old to go live on their own Because they know that they're not They're not ready right Okay <laughs> Entonces You know what I mean Um Right, because you know that they're not mentally ready for all of that. Exactly. You're supposed to guide them, know, and provide lessons. What happens when you don't provide lessons? Well, don't they get lost? Well, yes, this is a part of when they get lost. The detour took them down this path. Because you want a 15, 13 year old, 12 year old, uh, you know, 14 year old to, to, to be able to realize. All of this and be able to get their emotions together when they're when they're they're experiencing all these new hormones because of puberty and, and all of this shit. They don't even know what's going on with themselves, and you expect them to to have all that shit in a bag and to and to keep their their feelings on check. What teenager do you know keeps their feelings on check? People always see this angle from the from the point of view of an adult already. When you already have common sense, the mentality. Would you say that you're as sharp as when you were 14 years old or 15 years old? Would you say that your 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 decision making, your 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 points of views and all that is as good as how, uh, the age that you are right now? No, right? I, I'm pretty sure we can all admit that when we were kids, we did a lot of dumb stuff and made a lot of stupid decisions and made big deals over you know shit that wasn't really a big deal. That's how kids behave. That's how teenagers behave because puberty and all the hormones. You know what I mean? They're experiencing all these new hormones and thoughts and shit like that. Um, that's why you know teenagers are over dramatic about everything. Like if you don't let them go with their friends, it's like oh, I hate my life and and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, you know what I mean? Or you know whatever. Like if they don't get the item that they want, it's like that that like fucking hate. You know like how could you do this and blah 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 blah. Um, so now you expect now we're talking about the same individuals. Now you want them to have everything on check. Like come on now, bro. You gotta understand the mentality before you wanna judge and critique. You gotta understand the life. But I'm just saying, I'm shadow we are.